So boron and its occurrence, where is boron coming from? Here's a great graph from Isobar that describes how boron enters our environment since the 1970s. And we find boron to actually be a lot more ubiquitous than some people might know. So it is common in mining and material processes. It's actually very common in glass and ceramics. Uh, borosilicate is actually something that we use often. I believe it's a Pyrex glass, right? And then agriculture. So boron is a micronutrient and it is essential nutrient. And you can actually, you know, have big swings in boron deficiencies or boron toxicity if the ranges aren't uh, where they need to be. Uh, but what I found to be the most interesting and what I, I think that, you know, maybe some people already know this is the presence of boron in the environment as borax. So we find that in many cleaning products, teeth cleansers, flame retardants, laundry boosters, pesticides. I don't know about you guys, but I actually grew up with a little bottle of borax that my mom had drawn a little poison symbol on. And she always told me that that was a, an insecticide, a pesticide. But I never realized how ubiquitous it was throughout our household products. So what that means is that we have a lot of boron entering the environment from our domestic household waste and usage. And this chart here on the left-hand side kind of points out here that soaps and cleansers by far outcompete all the other ways that we can introduce boron into the environment. So I, I really thought that was kind of an interesting take and also something that we utilize when doing nutrient source tracking.